Mongoose Coding creates custom software that helps you run your business. Call it a BPM, an ERP, a CRM. These all have similarities and we build them all. In this video, we're going to cover a system that we've created for Harley Davidson. Currently, it's deployed in three of their stores to manage all five departments. It's used by dozens of users managing hundreds of employees. And the system requires login, it manages sales, it gives real-time reports, it has a paperwork approval system, and a very dynamic commission calculation system as well. So here we are on the home page of the system. Let's log in and we'll use our impenetrable three character password I've established for our video. And watch as we log in, all the sheets now are revealed. I've given this particular Mongoose coding account permissions to all the features. And so all the sheets and the features within the sheets are accessible to us now. So what does logging in to the system really mean? And how do we get real time reports in Excel? Well, when a user logs into the system, they're really logging into the database. We're using a hosted database as the back end to the system. And so when a user makes a change, that change is presented in the workbook, but it's stored in the database. And so seconds later, another user can see that change in their workbook. Everyone can use the system at the same time. Let's start with vehicle sales. I'll click the first orange button here, which will just take us down to the vehicle sales doc entry sheet. So here we are in the vehicle sales doc entry sheet. And if I use this first drop down box here next to store, you can see that the account we're using has access to all three stores. Next up, we have our start date and end date for the query or the report here, and it defaults to month to date. If we want to change the date range for which we'd like to query, we can easily do that with this button here. It opens up the date picker. You can use this to select a new date or you can just type the new date into the cell. So let's click the blue button to load the report. As simple as that, we just queried the hosted database online and pulled down this data into Microsoft Excel. So if we want to change or add new information, these changes will be presented to us in Excel here and they'll be stored in the database. You can see that we have sales from 6.1 to 6.8 here and the customer helped us design the table here and order the fields and tell us which fields should be included in this table. So if we want to add a new sale, we can click the green button. We designed this user form to help the users enter information easily. And also we want to validate that they're entering the right information and not forgetting to input any information at all. And again, the customer helped us design this user form. They said they want the F and I info on the right, the vehicle sales info on the left, the type of sale down here in the bottom left. And as their business needs change, we can rearrange the user form or add new fields to the user form very easily. So if I cancel out of here, we can also edit existing sales. So I can either select a cell here and click edit selected sale or double click on the cell in the row of the sale. And this loads the same form, but with information populated for that sale. And we can also delete the sale through this user form as well. So we just covered the sales doc entry sheet. Let me now showcase one of the reports that uses the information entered on the sales doc entry sheet. Let's go to the manager's report. And you can already tell it looks pretty familiar. We have our parameters for the report up here in the top. In this particular case, all we need is a start date and an end date. And then we have our load report button and the report itself down here. I'll go ahead and load the report. And because we built everything you're looking at here, if the customer wants to change anything about this report, all they need to do is give us a call and tell us what they want. Give us about a day and their system will automatically be updated with the changes. That includes new reports, changes to existing reports, brand new features, anything. I want to keep these videos short. So in the next video on this product, we're going to cover the user permissions, document approval, and the commission. But before we conclude this video, I want to mention that there are plenty of other features not showcased in this product. For example, we create very dynamic document population systems to create contracts or test results complete supply chain and process management systems, inventory management systems for warehouses and laboratories. In general, we specialize in developing the right tool with a great user experience. So take two minutes, give us a call right now. I'll pick up the phone. My name's Lee. I'm the owner of the company and I can't wait to chat about what you're looking for.